Hi, it's Angry Admin from AngrySysops.com, and today we will be continue talking about the snapshots. In the previous video, we had a deep dive into snapshots. However, today I want to show you what happens once you take a snapshot. So sit back, relax, and join me in this journey. Imagine you have a virtual machine running ESXi. Think of each block of the disk as a representation of all the files that make up the virtual machine's version. Now, when you decide to take a snapshot, something interesting happens. A new file, snapshot1.vmdk, is created and the base disk becomes read only. From this point on, any changes you make to virtual machine are recorded in the snapshot1.vmdk file. In our visual representation, over here, over here, yeah, you see the screen, the blue blocks signify read-only blocks from the base disk why the gray blocks represents empty read-only blocks from the base disk. Now, let's say you decide upgrade VSXI version. The changes made during this upgrade are saved in snapshot1.vmdk. The changes are represented as brown blocks, which are essentially read and write data blocks for the current state disk. Those brown blocks are also linked to the corresponding read-only blue data blocks on the base disk. Additionally, the yellow data blocks represent new read-and-write data in snapshot1.vmdk file for the current state disk, and they are linked to the read-only gray or empty data block on the base disk. Now, let's fast forward a bit. You decide to take a second snapshot creating snapshot2.vmdk. Again, both the base disk and snapshot1.vmdk become read only. From this moment, any changes you make are recorded in snapshot2.vmdk. While you upgrading version of your ESXi, after taking the second snapshot, the changes are stored in snapshot2.vmdk. The changes made after the second snapshot are represented by the purple block, indicating read and write data for the current state disk. The purple block is also linked to corresponding red only brown data block in snapshot1.vmdk, which serves as a parent disk to snapshot2.vmdk. So there you have it. Snapshot uh, work by capturing the difference between the current state and the original state of virtual machine. Every time a block from the base disk or a previous snapshot is changed, the snapshot operation saves it to the current delta or snapshot.vmdk file. This allows you to revert to previous state and manage the changes made to your virtual machine. In the next video, I will tell you what is happening once you revert or delete the snapshot. Th thank you for joining me in the exploration of snapshots. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more informative content. Until next time, have a great day. See ya.